it's time to quote the famous trainer Izzy Mandelbaum, also one heck of a crepe maker. Uh, anyways, this it's go time. So with this workout here, this is an EMOM style workout. We're going to need 15 minutes on our clock. Uh, we're going to be working through three sets. Each set will be five minutes. We've got four prescribed movements. Minute number five will be rest. So nice and simple. This one being a fight gone bad style, meaning it's as many reps as possible in each of the minutes. So this is going to be a huge rep count for a lot of people today. I'm anticipating 300 reps plus for, for most people there. Um, and we're going to see how that all accumulates. I can't wait to see the scores tomorrow. Uh, and it's going to happen fast. So what's really unique about today's class, if we're doing the body weight or we're doing the dumbbell, we're basically all doing the same movements except for the movement number four, and that's really it. So it's going to be real interesting to see how this all pans out. So with that, let's get into our first rep. It is hand release push-ups. So hand release push-ups, my hands are under my shoulders, tight core, I'm down to ground, hands come off the ground, push that off, okay? That is your rep. Now, if you don't have your hand, if you don't have your hand release push-ups, that is no problem. What we've got here, we can put those knees down. We're gonna get here, chest is to the ground because your hands are coming off, and we're going tight core and pushing those out. All right, let's not turn those into into seals. Right, where we're going like this. Let's keep that tight core so we're getting max benefit out of those hand release push-ups. Now, after that, you can stay right where you are, and we're gonna go into mountain climbers. So mountain climbers, again, got my hands in front of me under my shoulders, and I'm running ahead. Now we can make those touch or no touch mountain climbers. So these being no touch, these being touch, okay? If those are too much, and we need to go to the side, we can go to the side, and if we need to step those, we can step those. Okay, so that's our mountain climbers. After that, we can stay down on the ground and we are gonna move into alternating leg V-ups. We're snapping those through. Now, if that's too much, we can bend that knee and we can shorten up that range of motion. That's no problem, okay? The biggest thing when we're doing those, think about getting that, the small of your back anchored to that ground, okay? So we're here and we're pushing through. And again, we're not looking to see our necks curl over while we're doing this. There should be no strain on the neck. This should all be firing in that core, okay? After we're done that, you will pop up to your feet. You will grab your dumbbell a single dumbbell and its shoulders are overhead. So every 10 reps, you switch hands. So that means you've got to finish 10 reps with one arm before you make the switch to the other one. So we're here, shoulder and overhead. We can push press lows. We can push jerk them, okay? Or we can strict. However you want to get that dumbbell from shoulder to overhead. Once you get to 10, you're switching sides. That arm's gonna get a chance to rest. And we can again, we can go back to push, push jerk, right? Or strict. Entirely your call. I wouldn't recommend strict. Strict is gonna gas your arms big time. So after that, you're gonna write down the total number of reps that you completed of those four movements. Like I said, it's gonna be 100 plus. And we're gonna see if we can maintain consistent rounds there. And that's when you'll get your drink, write your score. So we can add that up at the end. Good luck, push the pace because it's go time.